Hi, I'm Jonathan Kirby. Today we're going to show you how we build our one-of-a-kind hulls and how our infusion process works. Before we do anything else, the first and most critical step is to inspect and prepare the mold for gel coat application. Taking time to prepare the mold now leads to a better product for the customer. There is a direct relationship between the quality of a mold and the parts that come out of it. In the case of a hull, nothing short of perfection is acceptable. Once the hull is prepped, we begin by applying the gel coat to the mold surface. The hull is built from the outside in, so the first layer into the mold is the exterior finish. One side of the mold is sprayed completely, and then the mold is rotated to allow for spraying of the opposite side. A special gauge is used to measure the thickness of the gel coat to confirm uniform application and ensure there is enough material applied without being too thick. Once the mold is completely coated and the gel coat is sat for a specified amount of time, the next step is the skin coat. This is a thin layer of chopped glass fiber sprayed into the mold with a specialized gun. This skin coat has a few purposes. Aesthetically, the skin coat helps prevent print through, where the pattern of the heavier glass materials used later in the hull construction prints a pattern into the outer gel coat hull surface and is visible in the finished hull side. For longevity purposes, the skin coat uses a vinyl ester resin that eliminates the potential for osmosis and any future blister problems. This is an added layer of protection for the hull. While one person applies the skin coat, two or three other workers follow behind with specialized rollers to roll out the applied fiberglass and resin mixture. This process helps lay down the glass fibers and ensures no air is trapped in the layer. Once the entire hull has been skinned, the mold is left to sit for the skin coat to cure. Once the skin coat is cured, the hull mold is rolled out of the lamination spray booth to another area of the shop. This is where the majority of the glass will be loaded into the mold. Unlike some of our competitors, Southport infuses all of our structural parts. Because of the infusion method, our lamination process is cleaner and allows for the hull building to take place outside of the spray booth. Infusion produces more consistent construction from part to part, a consistently uniform glass to resin ratio, and far less wasted resin than in an open molded construction method. Additionally, the infusion process leads to cleaner working conditions and is more environmentally friendly. With the mold out of the spray booth, a new group starts to load dry glass and core materials. These pieces are pre-cut into kits to minimize waste and improve efficiency in the loading process. Each hull has a cart of material that will be loaded into the hull. Once all of the glass is loaded, the part is prepared for infusion. First, a series of specialty materials are laid into the part. These materials help promote the flow of resin as it is introduced to the part later in the process. Next, the bag is draped over the mold and sealed at the perimeter. Vacuum lines are put in place and the part is drawn down to a vacuum. Feed lines are installed in predetermined places on the bag and the entire bag is checked for air leaks with a specialized listening device. With the bag fully sealed, the resin is then mixed. And through a predetermined sequence, feed lines are opened and closed starting from the middle and working out to allow resin to fully spread throughout the part. 90 minutes later, the mold is fully wetted and the feed lines are closed off. The part is left to cure overnight. In the morning, the part is debagged. Once the stringer system is installed, the hull is ready to be removed from the mold. It's set on its cradle and the boat begins its next step towards completion. At this stage, the hull is reviewed by quality control and checked for any issues that may need attention before moving through the assembly line. With the hull now on the floor and reviewed by quality control, the boat moves to the next phase. In our next video, we'll show you how Southport is rigged with onboard systems and prepared for the installation of the liner and deck.